Hi guys, so I'm not sure if you're familiar with the concept of concern trolling, but it seems to be the latest attempt by Brexiteers to deal with an issue that is facing the NHS. Concern trolling is when you fake concern about an issue in order to actually undermine that issue. Certain Brexiteers are happy to see the NHS fail so that it will be easier to sell it off to the private sector, which is actually currently happening. Many Brexiteers voted leave in order to keep foreigners out. This issue was weaponized by the likes of Nigel Farage, Vote Leave and Leave.eu. They understood that they could get people to vote if they could convince them that leaving the EU would mean that they wouldn't be treated by a foreign doctor at their local hospital or they wouldn't have to listen to foreign accents at their local supermarket. Why aren't British people doing these jobs was the idea behind the rhetoric. Well, here is a video uploaded to Twitter by Nigel Farage which was produced by Migration Watch UK and they are extremely concerned about the UK nicking doctors from poorer countries. Right. Firstly, congratulations and good luck Mr Javid. You have one hell of a job sir. A couple of thoughts if I may Secretary of State. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it is that we must pay better attention to the health of our National Health Service. Now. These are the types of people who, on the, on the right and on the far right, who are against increasing taxation to fund the NHS. But they will turn around and say, we need to be concerned about the health of the NHS. How can you square that circle? How can you say that, yes, we want to, we, we're concerned about the NHS, but we don't actually want to fund it? For far too long, those who run the NHS and our medical schools, as well as ministers, have failed to train enough UK people to fill the jobs. And in a sense, he's correct. Now, the problem with responding to videos like this is that there's always a nugget of truth within the rhetoric. Has the Conservative government invested enough in training, uh, training nurses, for example? No, they haven't. Why have they not done that? Because they don't care about training nurses and, and investing in that training. It's cheaper just to bring people from abroad. Now, this is a concern for Migration Watch UK, um, the t t bringing nurses in from abroad, because we don't want these people here. It's not actually about using uh, government funding to increase staff levels uh, in the NHS. They're, they're against that. They just want to stop immigration but they're using this argument that we need to invest in more uh, nurses you know, in the UK, training for those nurses, um, because their objective is just to stop immigration. But they will use this argument as a tool to convince the public that they are concerned. Instead of investing properly in training and paying enough, there has been an increasing reliance on overseas trained medical staff, often taking doctors and nurses from some of the neediest countries in the world. Does anyone truly believe that this guy or Nigel Farage care about third world countries? Really? This, despite the huge pool of local talent to draw, it is wrong. Our training schools have been rejecting thousands of bright, suitably qualified British students as... What? Sorry, let me hear that again. It is wrong. Our training schools have been rejecting thousands of bright, suitably qualified British students. Why would it do that? Why would the NHS reject British students? As he said, they're trained, highly trained, qualified, clever, bright. Why would they decide to disqualify these people? That's a quite an inflammatory statement to make. I would love to see some evidence to back it up. There's no sense behind it. As the NHS doubled down on recruiting from abroad, the NHS is more reliant on overseas doctors and nurses than most comparable healthcare systems in the developed world. And why do you think that's the case? <laughs> First of all, the government don't want to invest in nurses, for example, in, in the UK because it's expensive and because the right wing don't want to spend government money <clears throat> on anything um, unless it's you know building projects that benefit their donors. 
But why do you think the UK has doctors and nurses coming from, for example, Pakistan or India? Why do you think that's the case? Could it be because of the history? Because of the history of Britain? Colonialism? Does this guy not understand that? In heaven's name, why? The staffing crisis is made worse because the NHS struggles to hang on to the doctors and nurses we do train because of the appalling work conditions and pay that doesn't compare with what is on offer in other developed countries. So I would assume from that statement that you would support increased taxation in order to pay doctors and nurses better. Yes, I highly doubt it. In recent years, a bad situation has been made worse by increasing workloads brought on by a rapidly increasing population. A growth driven by high levels of immigration. Oh. And then we're back to the Brexiteer mentality here. Uh, the NHS is suffering because there are too many immigrants, not because of a lack of investment. Now, what he's trying to do here is he's trying to mix two things. He's saying it's not been invested enough, it's not been invested in enough by the government, which is true. But the problem is there are too many immigrants. Now, of course, he's ignoring the fact that migrants contribute to society, contribute to the economy. Many of them are working in the NHS and many of them are paying taxes which help fund the NHS. But his solution is to stop immigration and fund the NHS. But he seems more concerned about one than the other because, as I said before, the right wing are not very interested in um, funding the NHS. They would be advocating for more taxation, but they're not. Overseas recruitment is not the answer. It takes time and it takes money to train doctors and nurses. Now, what his, he should be advocating for, if he truly cares about nicking doctors from abroad, is a two-tiered approach. Invest more in the NHS. For example, I advocate for, I advocate for increased taxation in order to fund the training for doctors and nurses. And at the same time, we wean ourselves off doctors and nurses from abroad. Now, I don't support that, but if Immigration Watch UK were truly concerned about the NHS, wouldn't they be advocating for that? The answer to the National Health Service's woes lies in more training, improved pay and conditions, and the easing of pressure on it by reducing the demand for its services. This will only happen if we slow the unprecedented and rapid growth in our population, which will only happen if we reduce and cap immigration. <laughs> Not let's fund the NHS, let's uh, make it easier for doctors to stay in the NHS, this is not about true, he doesn't care about the NHS. This is not about concern for the NHS. It's not concern about doctors or nurses. This is just about immigration. And once again, Nigel Farage seems to have realized that, look, we need another issue to, con to, to convince the public to be angry once again. The NHS is suffering because of lack of funding, um, but it's the real reason in the, the eyes of this guy and Nigel Farage is, uh, and what they want to convince the public of, is that there are too many immigrants. They're a weight on the NHS. Now, th this is not a new argument. This was used back in 2016 as well to convince people to vote for Brexit. The NHS is suffering because we're a member of the European Union. There are too many people coming in from Europe who are a strain on the NHS, when in reality, the people coming from the, from the European Union were contributing to society, were helping fund the NHS, and many of them, of course, working in the NHS. Stopping these people does not help the NHS. Cutting funding to the NHS does not help the NHS. But as I said before, 
the motivation, I think, is twofold. Keep the racists happy, and then there's the disaster capitalism of Brexit. We need to move to an insurance-based system of healthcare. Nigel Farage, Brexit party candidate. It's not about protecting the NHS. It's about keeping racists happy and selling it off. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?